We learned in Finding Nemo that Nemo was lost, but he wasn't the only one that was lost, no. Dora didn't even know where she was going, and she didn't even know where her parents were, but most importantly, she didn't know who she was. With Finding Dory, we get to go on a journey with her and help her find herself. But did you know there are several Easter eggs in there? Get out your floaties, gents and gentlets, because we're going diving for Easter eggs. Spoiler alert. Now let's dive right into the beginning where you can see they pay tribute to the famous A113 with the tags of the two sea lines, A1 and 13. It also is the license plate number for the big bad truck that tries to take Dory away from all of her friends. Now there are only three sharks in Finding Nemo, right? So then why in the world did Marlin think that there were four? Uh, four sharks. Wait, I thought there were three sharks. No, no, there were definitely four. Did he make a mistake or was he referencing to the fourth shark in this movie? No, 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 no. We're not talking about destiny here. I'm talking about the truck. Look at the grill of the truck and you can clearly see the truck is made by sharks. While we're already looking at the truck, let's take a moment and notice the horn. It's the Pixar ball camouflage. The original voice for Nemo was Alexander Gould. He's all grown up now and doesn't exactly sound like Nemo anymore, so naturally he didn't get the job for this film. We are so fired! Don't worry Alex, they're not gonna fire you, you can be the trucker. That's right, Alex is the voice for this guy. If you already watched my Incredibles video, then you will know Pixar likes putting the Pixar studio address in their movies. Here we can see on the boat it reads PA1200, referring to their address 1200 Park Avenue, and they were founded in 1986, apparently so was this boat. If you went on a ride in the submarines at Disneyland, you might have already seen this easter egg, Darla, you know, the evil girl that likes to kill fishes. No surprise here that we find her in quarantine as well, no surprise because she's sick. Also, the seawater pipe that says TL59. That's a little reference to the original submarine voyage that was made in Tomorrowland back in 1959. No ocean movie would be complete without these adorably shellfish birds. Speaking in references to the first movie, if you are wondering what happened to all those fish from the dentist aquarium in Finding Nemo, then that means you left before the credits were over. Because at the end of the credits, we see all of them floating by, and naturally, Jock's bag is the only one that doesn't have algae on it. Remember, he was obsessed with cleaning the tank? They also brought back Crush and Squirt. I'm sure you didn't miss that. If you did, bonk. But did you notice they also have a model, though, of Crush and Squirt hanging from a ceiling of the open ocean? If you don't notice this easter egg, you need to remind yourself the same company that made this movie also made Toy Story. That's right, the toy is alive. And it's trying to show Marlin how to escape. This is probably also the easter egg to Toy Story 4 scheduled to release in 2019. But we will have to just wait and see. If you watch closely here, you will also see someone in the background is shoplifting from the gift shop. We all know Riley had a rough time in the movie Inside Out. Thankfully, it all worked out for her, though, and she even went on vacation. That's right, you can clearly see her here in the crowd enjoying the show. Also, the random facts that you hear, like octopus having three hearts or scallops having a bunch of little eyeballs, guess what? They're true, and it's a little bit creepy. Scallops have dozens of eyes. <laughs> also, don't forget the lonely volcano from the short lava. The one set of numbers that is seen over and over in this movie is the number found on Dory's tag, 3181. Now this seems random, but as you should know by now, with Pixar, nothing is random. And there's always a reason. After doing some digging, I discovered that it is the same last four digits to the office phone for the director and writer, Andrew Stanton. And to save him from getting floods of calls, I'm not going to release the other digits, but just to prove it, I'm gonna give him a call. It's raining. He screams his calls. I'm not his friend yet. Hi, this is Andrew. I'm not in right now, so if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye bye.
Uh, hi, Andrew. It's Crazy Nate. I just want to say good job on the film. We all enjoyed it, and we're trying to find all the Easter eggs, but we can't find the Cars 3 Easter egg. Please give us a hint. Thanks. Bye. For this next one, you probably need high definition and Blu-ray to probably be able to even come close to seeing this one. On the wall, there is a Wall-E calendar. Wall-E calendar. You might have seen the video that Pixar released claiming that Hank the Octopus, sorry, sorry, I mean Septopus, is in every single Pixar video. Before you go crazy looking for him, remember this. We already covered Toy Story extensively and didn't see him anywhere. Also, this was posted on April 1st. You know. April Fools. One of the most prized Easter eggs of all time for Pixar is the Pizza Planet delivery truck. Have no fear, they put it in there. If you follow Andrew Stanton on Twitter, you already know this, and you also know that it's within the first 20 minutes of the movie. If you want to find this on your own, plug your eyes and close your ears for the next few moments, okay? All right, I warned you. When Dory is swimming away from the kind of scary, kind of cool octopus, look closely at the rubble and you will see the truck right there. Still didn't see it? What if I slow it down a little bit? Okay, for those of you that closed your eyes, you can open them now. Hello? Hello? Well, I guess they're going to join us eventually. Okay, so Paul Kenyuk is the technical artist for Finding Dory. He is also this dude pushing a stroller. The two sea lions are often the comedic punchline, but they never really made it clear which one is fluke and which one is rudder. Well, this one is fluke and that one is rudder. Not only are these two extremely lazy, but they are also bullies. It's very clear that Gerald is being bullied by these guys. There's plenty of room on the rock for all three of them, but they won't share. Now don't worry, if you watch to the end, I mean the end end, pass all the credits, then you already know that we can learn something valuable from Gerald. And that is that eventually you can outsmart your bullies. <laughs> it's good to see that Pixar is including Disney in their Easter eggs. Here you can see Herbie, you know, the famous love bug. Now unlike my Toy Story video, I don't think Pixar is mad at Disney anymore. I was originally thinking maybe it was a hint and that Disney drowned, and Herbie didn't use the Rusties, you know, that stuff that Lightning McQueen is sponsored by. Formula, nothing sues a rusty bumper like Rusties. Wow, look at that shine. But then I started remembering, they also put their most prized object, you know, the Pizza Planet, at the bottom of the ocean. So obviously there was no bad blood there. Thanks, Taylor. More proof is that Pixar said this. No shout out. Right, they will us all, we're all one big happy family. So this can mean only one thing. We're all friends now. Yay! I know what you're thinking, stop it. You're thinking this is the car for Cars 3, huh? Nope. Pixar already confirmed that the car was not an Easter egg for Cars 3. And Andrew said that the biggest clue he can give you on your little journey to finding the Cars 3 reference is that the Easter egg is not, I repeat, not a car. Here's a part of the Disney logo on the tire that Dory's parents lived in. Ooh. Okay, for this next part, don't blink. When you watch the scene near the Pixar ball, really slowly, you will see a car is driving with only three wheels. Wow. Have you also noticed the dorkfish? If you ever heard of the comedian Bill Engvall, then you already heard about the dorkfish. It's clear to me that this guy is a dorkfish. Did you know that Pixar put a reference to Die Hard in Finding Dory? They had Dory going through the pipes just like John did. Also, in the touch tank where they're getting Hank and hands all mixed Hank. up, this is a reference to Die Hard. Hank? Hank? No, not Hans. I'm looking for Hank. Hans. Hank with a K. Hank. Hands. Hands? Oh, hands! Ah! I thought I told all of you I want radio silence until further notice. Sorry, Hans. 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 If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Also, I'm going to be having a giveaway soon. Sign up for your chance to win at crazynate.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video made you smile. And remember, share a smile with someone today. They are contagious.